Welcome to In the Word with Roy Edwards, where we dive into the timeless wisdom of the scriptures with your host, Pastor Roy Edwards. He is the senior pastor of Redemption Church in Casa Grande. Service times are Sundays at 9 and 11 a.m. and Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. For more information, check out www.redemptioncg.org. Prepare to be uplifted, encouraged, and challenged by the Word of God. Let's jump right into the message. Hey, we're jumping into day seven. Wow, day seven. Day seven of 30 days of prayer. Let's jump right into it. So we're going to jump in uh, to Psalm 145, verse 18 in the New King James Version. And here's what it says. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. So we're going to reflect on a verse today in Psalms that reveals God's closeness when we call out to him in prayer. I love it. The Lord is near to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in truth. This verse reminds me that God is not distant or hard to reach. He's near. He's ready to respond when we call on him. So we're going to break it down today. We're going to unpack it a little bit, and we're going to discover what it means to experience God's nearness through prayer. So let's look at, let's look at the first part of this verse. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. This is a powerful promise of God's presence. Sometimes we feel distant from God, especially in difficult times or when life gets overwhelming. But here the psalmist is telling us that God is near. He's not far off. He's not removed, but he's close. This closeness is activated when we call upon him in prayer. Think about that for a second. The creator of the universe, the savior of the world, the lover of our soul, our prophet, our priest, our soon coming king, the one who loves us beyond all comprehension, draws near to us when we pray. He doesn't just listen from a distance. No, instead, he draws close to us. And so whether we're whispering a prayer of thanksgiving or we're crying out in complete desperation, God is right there with us. The second part of this verse says it like this, to all who call upon him in truth. So what does it mean to call upon God in truth? It means coming before him with honesty, with sincerity, and with a genuine heart. Prayer isn't saying just the right words or following a specific formula or format. It's about being real with God. And I would encourage you today to just get real with God. It's about bringing our true selves, our true need, and our true feelings before Him. Not being fake. God desires a relationship with us that's authentic. And when we call upon him with hearts that are open and honest, we experience his presence in a really powerful way. This doesn't mean that we have to have everything figured out or even have perfect faith. It simply means coming to God just as we are and trusting that he is near and he's ready to respond. So how can we live out Psalm 145, 18 in our daily lives? Let me give you three quick takeaways today. Number one. Call upon God in every situation. Whether you're in a season of joy or struggle, take time to call upon Him in prayer. His promises to be near to you. His presence will bring comfort, peace, and strength. Number two, pray with sincerity. Don't feel the need to dress up your prayers or make them sound a certain way. They don't have to sound like your pastor. They don't have to sound like your grandma. They don't have to sound like your mom. They they just need to come from you and to come from your heart and be sincere. Come to God with a genuine heart, sharing your hopes, your fears, your doubts, and your joys. He knows your heart and he values, listen to me, I believe that he values authenticity. The number three, trust in God's nearness. Even when you don't feel his presence, trust that God is near when you call upon him because his word says that he is near when we call upon him and his word is the truth. 
Sometimes his nearness is felt in different ways. It might be a quiet way through through peace that he's given you, through comfort, through the reassurance that he's working right there in the background when sometimes you don't even see it. Oh God, the things that he does that we don't even see. Let's pray. Father, I thank you for the promise of your nearness, for the promise of your presence. I thank you for being close when I call upon you in truth. I pray, God, in Jesus' name, that you would help me to come to you with sincerity, to be real in my prayers, and to trust you that you hear me. Lord, I pray that you would draw near to me today as I seek your face, as I seek your presence. And I pray, God, that you would just continue to remind me that you are always with me, no matter what I face. I love you, and I bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Listen, remember that the Lord is near to all who call upon him. And so as you go throughout the rest of this day, take time to call out to him in truth. Experience his peace and the presence of God who is always by your side. And I pray that your prayers draw you closer to the one who's always near. And his name is Jesus. Listen, until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. May his love surround you, his spirit guide you, and his grace cover you today and always. In the name of Jesus, amen. Thank you for listening today to In the Word with Roy Edwards. We pray you've been encouraged and challenged by the Word today. Be sure to follow Pastor Edwards on social media, YouTube, and you can also listen to these messages on any podcast platform you consume content. Just search for In the Word with Roy Edwards and enjoy. We will be back next week with more messages to encourage you in the Word.